Who's got big flappy ears and yo-yo and trying to save New York? It's your noise. Hey, the noise trying to save New York from late pizza. That wasn't word for word, but I tried. But you're trying to save pizzas. Hey, your noise. Bring me pizza. <laughs> I want a pizza. This is Dr. Wiley. And, and I want the pizza in less than 30 minutes. Down to 30 minutes. What? Under 30 minutes. <laughs> it's under 30 minutes. In 30 oh, minutes. And I want the pizza in 30 minutes or less. 30 minutes or less, or else you get out of the I don't want to fall victim to the annoyed. <laughs> the annoyed. I, you know, even after watching the game. What's I, wrong with the annoyed? I still don't understand what the annoyed is. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about all that. He looks, he is a hideous creature. He's amazing looking. The kids all love him. <laughs> That's why they make a video game about the Noi. About the Noi. That's They make true. a game called the Noi. Hey, yo, the, the adventures of the Noi. About, could you imagine what? the adventures of the Noi? Why not? Could it, well, why not? The adventures of the Noi. Better than the Roy. Starts right here. Starts right here. Just stop. Welcome hey, back. yo, Noi! <laughs> Welcome back to Power Trip Gaming Retrospective. Welcome back, everyone. We are doing Yo, Noi! Yo, Noi! Hey, Yo, Noi! Yo, Noi, yo -noid. the famous Domino's mascot. <laughs> the, the once upon a time mascot of Domino's Pizza. A hideous it child is, creature. It is very, Man very disturbing looking. It um, is very creepy. And the whole idea behind the Noid um, was it was literally the Noid was supposed to be a representation of like a, a pizza that didn't get to you within 30 minutes, that was cold, that was bad. And so you always wanted to avoid the Noid. And I believe that the Noid is actually a play on annoyed. Um, you're annoyed with bad and crappy pizza, and so you wanted to avoid the Noid. Um, Still doesn't make sense. It, it really, it really doesn't. And uh, Capcom, they are they are a good company. They are a good game company. Absolutely, and, especially in the NES era. And they must have felt that they were invincible because they thought that it was a good idea to license out the rights to the Noid for a video game. Oh boy! And they made and they made a game based on the adventures of the Noid called Yo Noid. Yes. So you are traveling through 14 levels to defeat all the imposter noids that are fucking up New York. Yep. Uh, and along the way, you're having some pizza eating contests with the, uh, the rival noids. With the rival noids. You're on an ornithopter, a little helicopter thing. You're on a skateboard. You're climbing buildings. Climbing skyscrapers. Skyscrapers. <laughs> you got skyscrapers out in New York. He thought he was Mikey Jones. He had a fucking yo-yo. He did have a yo-yo. He actually, had a yo-yo, yeah. Mikey Jones. The game is weird. It's a very weird game. But in that same vein, it is actually a very Capcom game. Yes, it is. It is Capcom. It's very Cap. You know, I have a feeling if Radical <laughs> had its hands on it, stop it. We would not be looking at the stop same noise. Stop it. <laughs> We will never, never speak disgrace Yonoid with Radical. No. Yeah. Mm -mm. They were very fortunate that Capcom decided to essentially do this game. Because, <clears throat> damn it, they actually pumped out a pretty decent yeah, pretty decent game, I would and, say. And a uh, like, little fun fact, too, that we actually noticed is that the game actually only stars the Noid, which was very, I mean, everybody knew at the time that it was it was Domino's Pizza. Right. But there was nothing in the game, unlike TMNT 2, which actually had Pizza Hut's endorsements, so they actually put Pizza Hut right. signs and stuff like that in the game. There is nothing Domino's in this game. It's literally only the Noid, and any time yeah. that you're at a pizza shop, it literally says just pizza. It doesn't yeah. even say Domino's, so... You'd think if it was a Domino's character, you would have smeared your feces logo all over everything. Yeah. Big Domino's, Domino... But chances are what Capcom ended up doing was they actually only licensed out the rights to the character itself, to the Noid, instead of actually licensing yeah. out Domino's pizza. 
Um, and so what Domino's actually ended up doing, though, is they did put a, uh, a $1 off coupon in the Yonoid instruction booklet. $1. $1 off your pizza at Domino's. Just a buck. They couldn't have thrown a fiver in there. Do you know what a buck would be, like, in, in like, $1991, what a buck would be off of pizza now? No. A buck. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. Because I have a feeling pizzas pretty much cost the same back then as they do now. They do. Motherfucker. Mm hmm All right, so, I mean... Yeah, that's pretty much what this game is, is you're going through these levels, and it's, well, we'll get into it. Yeah. Yonoid, what do you give it for a difficulty? So for a difficulty, I would give this game middle of the road. I five? think I, I, I would give it a five. It's, it's not extremely difficult, but it is tricky. There are some tricky levels, and the fact that you start off with the normal Capcom... Uh, amount you got three lives. Three lives. But I think you've got three continues. Only three continues. Only three continues, and then that's it. Then it's you start from the beginning. So anytime a game already limits your your continues and the amount of times that you can play something, it does kind of add a whole different level of difficulty to yes. to a game, um, because you know that you have a limited amount of time to to actually beat the game without having to start over. So you're only allowed so many mistakes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And uh, the beginning, I mean, you're going to be learning along the way about, like, the, the, the hitboxes and all that stuff, the environments and what you can do, what you can't do. Um, just when it counts that you actually touch water versus touching the bottom of the boat. You're this game throws you in the deep end right off the bat. The first level's fucking hard as hell. Hard. It is hard. It's a one-hit kill in this game. Yep. So you have no even life regular, bar. Yep, even regular enemies kill you in one hit. The first level, honestly, is one of the hardest levels for a f opening stage I've ever seen. It's ruthless. Mm -hmm. You're on a pier, the water level's rising. I mean, just touching the water with your big toe fucking knocks your ass out. You're dead. But then all of a sudden you'll be sitting there waiting for the water to go back down, and then a fucking fish will eat your asshole. I hated the first level of this game. I know you did. The rest of it honestly didn't seem that bad, except for near the end. There were, yes, there were some of the later levels were actually pretty, pretty hard. Yeah, um, I would say t the skyscraper and then the last ornithopter were probably. The and same. even and even the ornithopter levels, because there's there's actually two of them in the game. Um, even the ornithopter levels were not terribly difficult. It was getting used to the controls, though, because mm -hmm. you constantly had to keep pushing the, the button in order to stay afloat. Yeah. And um, it, wasn't, it, it wasn't too precise, and so you had to avoid uh, different enemies, different things, and so it would get a little bit tricky. But yeah, definitely the, 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 the last platforming level of the game, the, the skyscraper, was definitely the hardest level in the entire game. Yeah, attacking was definitely stilted in a weird way. You had magic spells, you could... Spells. <laughs> yeah, they call them spells in the instruction book, but it's great. <laughs> but, I mean, they have them, and, and they're varied, but depending on what they are. You get one that makes you run faster and jump higher. You get one that clears the screen. I think two that clear the screen. Well, what, one is, I know what, is, for sure. what does the pizza stomper do? Does that just summon a stomper? The pizza stomper, yeah, I believe it's just, yeah, you just get the stomper. And okay. then it's like a pogo stick that you can jump on enemies and kill them that way. Maybe, yeah. So. But, I mean, they're really... They're not much. There's like three or four different spell things, and they're half the time I don't think you really use them. I didn't really use them, and and yeah. half the time when I did need to use them, I didn't have them. So no, uh, especially at the skyscraper level. So skyscraper. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, but honestly, the game it's really not it's really not terribly difficult. The platforming is is decent. There is it's um, not bad. The controls are very tight. The very, very good controls, responsive controls. So it's Capcom. everything, yeah. So everything that ends up happening, actually, like going through it, every time we died, like it, it was our fault. So it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't it like was. you were tricked into something. Although there was one renegade bee that just the path he was taking. I'm like, <laughs> you fucking bitch. Yeah. Uh, I originally was gonna give this game a six because it's limited continues, and the game is absurdly <clears throat> long. It is pretty long. It's a long game. 14 levels. No passwords. And the levels are pretty sizable. Yeah. No passwords, no save feature. Three continues. However, I dipped it down to a five with you 
because you do have opportunities to get more continues, you more do. lives. More lives so, and continues, which is a, a rarity in Nintendo games. Yeah. Uh, the pizza eating contest seems stupid. It is, but, but when you really think about it, like it's it's so strange because the pizza eating contest, you would think, oh, it's just it's a bonus area to try to get extra points so that you can get one ups and stuff. Um, it's not. It's actually no. something that is required because yeah. if you lose, you start at the level like at the very beginning of the level again. It's essentially the game's equivalent of a boss fight. Yeah, you're it's really fighting because the other no bosses. Yeah, there's no bosses. But then yeah. there were other stupid parts like you could do this whack a mole segment. To get like an extra continue, but you had to win. <laughs> yeah, you had to like, win. The game punished you if you failed the bonus level. Yep. It it's just it was such an odd game. So it was so it was strange why they chose some of the mechanics of the game like that. Uh, some of the the ways that the progression worked, but um, but all in all, I mean, yes, you do start with a limited amount of lives, limited amount of continues, but. Um, the points you gain will earn you one-ups. You can play these these mini games if you stumble onto them for extra continues. Um, so everything seems very uh, it's forgiving in that sense. Yeah. Yes, everything kills you in one hit, but at the same time, it's not like they're throwing an obscene amount of enemies at you at one time. I mean, they're coming in slowly, but one at a time. Or in some cases, there might be two or th three things coming at you, but they're very they're very easy to handle. It's not like a like a, a a Ninja Gaiden moment where it's no. just they're, they're just throwing stuff at you and and you're just hoping that you just don't get touched. Right. So it's so it's very very simple in that in that respect. You're right. It definitely is middle of the road. Yeah. So all right, definitely. we'll move on to fun. I am curious as to what your fun is on this game because I I'm just gonna go ahead and say this right right now. I actually enjoyed this game. I'm not saying it's great. It's not great. For a Capcom game... But it's fun. It's it's not good. For Well, I shouldn't say it's not good. For Capcom, it's definitely not their best effort. It's not one of their stronger entries. No. But it's still... For what it is, good. though, Capcom did do a pretty good job. The music's actually pretty good. Music is great. The especially, graphics... Especially the last couple of level uh, music and stuff like that is just really yeah. awesome. Yeah, really actually, awesome. the energy you get from the music is yeah. pretty top-notch. I mean, it's Capcom. Capcom's mm -hmm. always knocked out of the park when it comes when to it comes soundtrack. To yep. Look at Street Fighter 2010. Not a great game in and of itself, but the music is yes. fucking phenomenal. Yeah, exactly. Um, the graphics actually aren't too bad. The controls are tight. There's a lot of game to it. I gave the game about, like, a high five, low six. It's pretty enjoyable... I would say it gets annoying <laughs> because of how long it is. Would you say you were annoyed? <laughs> <laughs> Many annoyeds. But other, I mean, it's for a cat. It's it's good for a licensed game, kind of for like a company like that. Capcom did a pretty damn good job of making something out of what was essentially a very strange mascot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say that um, I honestly I would give this game a six for. For fun like solid six because i i think it's it's above average um and that might just be because capcom was they were a fantastic developer they knew they, they knew their stuff do. they knew what to do um as far as capcom offerings yeah it's not their strongest title but i still had fun with this game the graphics were honestly they were amazing for this game i mean this game came out in 1990 um, it was released in, in the United States in March of 1990, and so, I mean, they had very colorful graphics. Each level, um, like with the, with the, like in the first level, the ship coming, uh, coming up and, and, and down out of the water and stuff like that, that was really cool. Um, but you also had a variety of different levels, too. You had the skateboarding level, you had the skyscraper level, you had those flying levels, too. I mean, there was a variety of different things where the game never, to me, it didn't feel just repetitive. It didn't feel like you were just doing the same thing over and over again. Um, the platforming elements of it were fantastic because it, the controls were tight. The, contro the controls let were me, tight! Let me calm down here. The controls were tight and responsive and it just it ended up making it really just a, a fun and playable game. Yeah, if, if the controls had been sloppier, it would not then have been. Then it would game. not have been, because it was very platform-based. And so Absolutely. when you when you base a game to be a platformer, it has to have tight, solid controls. If it's not, then you just completely 
shit on the entire whole <laughs> idea of the game. Yeah, um, like you were saying, the music absolutely top notch. I think that this this game it doesn't get the the credit it deserves for having such a great soundtrack. Um, people will always think about Capcom games and they'll think about the, the Mega Man, Mega Man's. They'll think about. Um, Am I blanking? They'll think about other things. Street Fighters. Still, all the Street Fighters, yeah. Um, but they won't. Yonoid will never come up as one of those like, oh, that game had such a great soundtrack. It Just really like Street Fighter 2010. Yeah, it never but really it, comes it really, up. It really was a really good soundtrack that really complemented the levels very well. Yeah, um, I agree. The only thing that I thought was questionable is literally the mini games and the the whole pizza eat offs with the <laughs> with the. Uh, the imposter noids. The rogue noids. It was just. It was. It was strange because it felt, for all intents and purposes, as a bonus to score additional points, or the or the the hidden areas where there was a bonus game where you could earn extra uh, continues. Um, it it should have been. It should have been just that a bonus that spits you back. If you lose, it spits you back out where you came from, or or you just go on to the next level. But by making them required, that was a strange. That was a strange. It was a strange choice. Yeah, that was a strange choice for them to to, to take. And the, especially the whack a moles because it's like, there were to, It felt like there were times if you didn't hit exactly the right person at the right time, you weren't gonna win. Yeah. So then you're losing a life off of something that's essentially a bonus. Mm -hmm. Like, come on, motherfucker! Like, why would you do that? Yeah. That'd be like a game giving you an option, or giving you the chance to earn a, an additional continue. But if you fail, it takes a continue away from you. Well, or it takes a life away from you, not a continue, but... It sucked either way. Yeah, it, it did. It did. So, honestly, though, but that's why I would feel like this game, it's 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 not one of Capcom's stronger offerings, but at the same time, it's still Capcom fun. Yeah. And Even the pizza-eating contests are kind of strategic. And I, d I did like that, that, yeah. that aspect of it, where it almost feels kind of like a, a little bit of a, like a chess game. Yeah. So you have to know when... What, what pizzas to eat, what pizzas not to eat, when yeah. to use your multipliers, and when to use the special items. I suppose we um, should... I, I don't think we ever talked about what those actually were. What the what were? <laughs> the pizza-eating contest. Oh, the pizza-eating contest. Well, Essentially, oh, the area champ, Yotnoid, would eat... Like, you pick a number of pizzas between... It was like one in six at one point. At, at the very last one. Six pizzas! Be, yeah, there would be six pizzas. One in six pizzas. And then you got your choice of... What, how many pizzas to pick. And whoever came out on top ate that many mm -hmm. remaining. And yours were anywhere between one pizza and four pizzas. Yes. And I were your pizzas random? Like, how many mm -hmm. you got? Yeah. Cool. So, But then you also got two and three times multipliers. You got pepper, and then you got chili stuff. Hot sauce. Hot sauce. Yeah. That would help fend off his picks. Mm -hmm. And you just essentially had to eat more and more pizzas than him. So it's basically, it, it's, you take the two numbers, and whatever is remaining, that's how many pizzas you've consumed. And you have to fill up your bar before the rival Noid fills up his. And so you have chances to, uh, to either stop him from eating a pizza with the ground pepper, or you, uh, after he eats a pizza and gets the points, those points are taken away because of the hot sauce. Yeah. Um, and so you have to eat more than he does, and at the start of it, because you don't do them, I think it's, you do them every it's other every level. Other, yeah. And it starts where you have to have, I think, up to nine pizzas. Like, you, you start with nine, but then it works all the way up to, to 18. Yeah. As you have to, you have to beat him in 18 uh, pizzas. And, it gets pretty harrowing. And it does. It actually does. There's a lot of, of strategy that, that goes into it. And uh, you get a times two and times three multipliers that you find throughout the levels by just randomly using your your yo-yo uh, to, I guess, uncover these hidden items. And so you can use those towards your uh, towards the pizza eating contest. But uh, in the beginning, you want to save them for the later levels because then in the later levels, if you don't have those, you're you're pretty much screwed. What is this, a strategy guy? It is. <laughs> yeah, it's it's cool. Uh, the only thing I didn't like is if you fail the pizza eating, you have to do the entire level over again. Yeah. It takes a life from you, and you got to do the entire thing. Uh, it's just, it's, it was an inconvenience. It really was, yeah. But overall, not a bad experience. I think it was pretty delightful. We've definitely played a hell of a lot worse than yes. fucking Yonoi. Yes, we have. All right, man. So we'll get into it. What did you pay for your 
fucking annoyed. I didn't pay anything for this game. Get out of here. Didn't pay anything. I got it from a friend. Not you. I know it wasn't me. I would never have owned this game. I know you would never have owned this game, so. Wow. Yeah. I didn't pay anything for it. Awesome. Doesn't get any better than that. Well, it actually could if somebody paid you to take it. Oh, that's true. That's true. Um, and at a later time, too, actually, um, the uh, the friend that I got it from, he had found a whole mess load of boxes, like Nintendo oh. boxes and stuff like that, too. It ended up being like 32 boxes or something like that. And Yonoid was one of the boxes in there, and so he just gave them to me because he's like, I That's don't right, you have the game complete. So now I have the game complete, and I didn't pay a cent for it. Damn, dude. Yeah. Lucky prick. That's, yeah. Although, this isn't a super cool find. On PriceCharting.com, as of this video, Yonoi goes for $12.89. Interesting. So not that expensive. It's not that expensive, but it's a little bit more expensive than I would have expected. But the uh, the game really isn't, I mean, it's I would call it uncommon. It's not rare, but it's definitely, you don't see it as frequently. No. I, I recall seeing it every so often, but it's not one you're going to come across every story. Yeah, to. exactly. So. so would you say about thirteen dollars is worth it? I would. I yeah. would for sure, for sure. Because this game, like I said, it's fourteen levels, and it's a it's, it's quite about quite a dollar a, big, a level. Quite a <laughs> quite a big variety of different levels. So I mean, you feel like you're getting a good, big solid adventure out of out of the price that you're paying. You're getting a stellar Capcom soundtrack out of it as well too, um, and it's it's just it's a good platformer. It it's is a good, good platforming game. I would say it's worth it. It's definitely worth definitely it. Definitely worth the challenge for it. Definitely yeah. worth just playing a more obscure Capcom game. Mm -hmm. I mean, I I would think this would be this would be worth it. And it's really funny because people of this generation probably don't even know what the Noid is. No. Anymore. And so the only way that you can really keep the spirit of the Noid alive is by playing it. <laughs> by playing it. It's like, what is this game? Who is, who is the Noid? You know what you oh, should be for Halloween this year? I should be the Noid. Be the Noid in a fucking oh my God. one piece jumpsuit. I could do it. I could do ears. it. With with bunny ears, too. <gasps> I'll have a big N on my chest. Oh my God. I have a red onesie. Are you serious? I am dead serious. I have red footy pajamas. Does it have an N on there? No, but We're we can always put it on it. there. Yeah, we're going to have to make it. <laughs> I'm going to be the Noid. Ah! I want to be the Noid. That is awesome. I wonder if they're in my closet right here. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I know you're not. That's why I said fuck you. Oh, fuck. Uh, but anyway, right. so five difficulty, six fun, and it is worth it. Boom. That's Yo Noid. That is Yo Noid. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. I don't think they did because you criticized me for trying to turn it into a strategy guide. No, that's fine. People always want to know about tips and tricks. Yeah, sure. Tips and tricks. Hey, maybe maybe somebody watching this video will pick up the game and be like, sure. Well, now I know to fucking save all my shit because of that Paul guy. Yeah, because of Power Trip Tricks. Power Trip Tricks Gaming Reviews. Wait, what? What? <laughs> Hit us up on Facebook. Hit us up on Twitter. Go to PowerTripGaming.tv. It takes you right to the channel. Watch Yo Noid. Yo Noid was fun. It was good. The link is... It's in the description. It'll take so you right to the out. playlist. Yep. You can watch it. Watch everything else we've done. That is Capcom. Everything else. Capcom. Street Fighter 2010. I'm so glad that you have, like, a limited memory. It's like <laughs> the last games that we played. Like, oh, what's the last game we played? Mega Man 4. Fighter. Mega Man 4. Mega Man 1, 2, 3, 4. Hey, let's, let's, let's play those. Tailspin was Capcom, wasn't it? Tailspin was Capcom. Tailspin. DuckTales. DuckTales. Woo! Yeah, so I mean, fuck, watch some Capcom fuck. shit. Yeah. Alright, that'll about do it. So next time on Power Drip Gaming Retrospective, we'll review something better. If you remember to say it. What do you mean? I had to do the outro because you completely balsed on remembering, hey, next time on Power Drip Gaming Retrospective. When? Just now. No, I knew that we had to do it. Then why did you not? Because I was waiting for you to do it. <laughs> Bullshit. There was like an awkward two to three second pause of silence. It's just like, oh, okay, he's not going to say it because he forgot to say it. Because I'm expecting you to say it. Why were you expecting me to say it? Because we're never, equal partners in I this. I have never said it once. I know, and that's why you looked I, like I you know. were feeling I like know. you wanted to say it. I know. I know. <laughs> God! <laughs> God. <laughs>